welcome back. This is Chili Davis, and I'm back to another video. I want to welcome back all my subscribers and welcome to my new viewers. If you're new, please click the subscribe button and click the notification to get my frequent updates. This is the channel where I talk about my top stocks. Okay, so uh, today, uh, SoFi was one of the top stocks at 9.73% gains. Uh, second place was Okta, 5.49% and Twilio 8.29%. Uh, Twilio, uh, this last couple of weeks, they had some issues with insider traders. Uh, they had uh, a couple employees uh, doing puts and calls against the stock with uh, information about the stock ahead of time. Last thing it occurred back in 2020, so they just got their hands slapped, but the stock is back up 8.29%. Okay, so those were the top stocks. Uh, there was a lot of good news today. Uh, we did hear uh, some information about Russia and the Ukraine conflict. It says Russia claims it will curb attacks around Kiev. Ukraine calls for security guarantees and latest talks. So that is the latest here on March 29th here on CNBC. So that is good news. So people can stop focusing on war and uh, things can sort of get back to normal at least momentarily, okay? So that is good news for the uh, conflict over in Ukraine and Russia. So that helped the market. <clears throat> Micron, Micron uh, Technologies, a semiconductor company, I talked about them on Sunday. After hours today, they jumped over 3.64%. Again, uh, Micron is an American producer of computer memory and computer data storage. So. They had a good uh, earnings call this afternoon. Uh, the earnings call is still going uh, right now, but uh, they beat estimates. They beat Wall Street estimates. So uh, uh, Micron did great. So it says here, Micron forecast quarterly, uh, positive forecast going forward and revenues above estimates. Okay, so those estimates of revenue were given by Wall Street uh, during the quarter and then Micron beat those estimates. So that is great news, Micron B estimates, uh, earnings per share. Uh, here it is, Mark, Micron forecasts quarterly revenue above estimates and shares, and <clears throat> shares of the Boise, Idaho rose 4.5% after market uh, in for current forecast quarter, $8.7 billion plus or minus $200 million compared to the analyst expectation of $8.06 billion. So that is great, uh, great information. That income also rose uh, $2.26 billion from $603 million last year. So congratulations to Micron and all the shareholders. Uh, Micron leadership doing a great job beating Wall Street estimates and the stock is rising. So that is the good news today in the aftermarket, okay? Now we'll head on over to Robinhood. Robinhood, again, you'll see that we were up today 3.24%. Remember, anything over 1% is excellent. So we saw the portfolio in Robinhood rise 3.24%. Now let's take a look, deeper dive into the portfolio and see where the hot stocks were. Okay, so we have Snap. Snapchat was up 4.53%. We have uh, Shopify, the online e-commerce out of Canada was up 6%. Uber shares were up 6%. Uh, Square or Block was up 6%. So quite a few stocks were up. Domo Data Source was up 5.34%. Uh, and last one, Affirm. Affirm Holdings, again, was up 11.19%. Again, Affirm is hit its bottom low as of $26. Today, it was up 11% on the day. So that's good news for Affirm. Looks like they're trying to build back better. Uh, again, Affirm was one of those stocks that got split. Uh, it has dropped significantly. If we look at Affirm, it was trading last year around $120. If we look at the last three months uh, past, it has got decimated. Okay, so Affirm has got decimated. If we look at back in November, the share was trading at $168, and now they are trading at $50. Uh, see, forty-eight dollars. So uh, that is huge. Okay, so there's more than 
uh, 70% off the highs back in November. So firm has dropped significantly, but today they were up 11%, trying to make their way back to at least $70, $80 per share, their IPO price, okay? So that was a firm, uh, made big moves today. Now let's see what was in the news. Apple could benefit from moving to hardware subscription. Apple shares were up 1.91%. Also, another stock that was hot today was Robinhood is offering extended hours trading. So again, all these uh, companies are extending their hours, whether it's Schwab, TD Ameritrade, they're trying to get that extra hour in to give the same service that some of the other uh, brokerage firms are doing. So. I think in general, TD Ameritrade, they, I think you can start trading at like five or six o'clock. Uh, Robinhood, I think you just have to wait till uh, eight or nine. Uh, so now Robinhood will start offering almost 24 seven trading. Okay, so they're really trying to make a move. Shares were up quite a bit on that news. Also Tesla stock moves after Stock split discussions have been going. Again, they were up today 0.62%. Uh, and why Ford stock is headed to $20 soon. Again, I talked about Ford the last couple of weeks, the buy, buy, buy. Again, the shares of Ford are targeted for $22 per share. Uh, we saw today it reached about $17, $18 per share. That's a nice little lick. That's that's more than 10% move. Um, that might be a 30% move if the share price can get back to $20, $21 per share, okay? Right now, Ford is trading about $17. That's a nice move, okay? I expect it to exceed the $20 per share going into earnings, okay? So we got about uh, three or four more weeks late in April, we should go into earnings for Ford. So let's take a quick look at Ford uh, stock price. <clears throat> For stock price right now is trading at uh, $17 and 75 cents. Now let's look over here and see where earnings. <coughs> okay, so does not show the uh, earnings date yet, but I expect by earnings date, <coughs> uh, mid or late April, the share price to hit that $20 per share. Okay. Also, one good part about Ford is it paid two. 0.25% dividend. And again, uh, Ford is an EV maker. They are coming out with the F-150 Lightning truck. So be following Ford the next couple of months. Let's see if they get back to that $21 per share price. Okay, great news for Ford. Again, let's take a look at the other portfolio. Uh, it was an excellent day in the other portfolio. Again, uh, way above 1%, up 2.52%. Again, there were several stocks that were heated up. Uh, UPST or Upstart Holdings was up 10%. Uh, made me a little over $141. Second place was Ford. Ford shares came in second place at 6.36%. Made me a little over $127. In third place, uh, Tesla was silent today. It was only up 0.61%, but still made me a little over 100. And last but not least, SoFi, SoFi Technologies, jumped 8.86% where I made a little over $100. Okay, so uh, SoFi shares are heating up. The FinTech had announced they got the bank charter two months ago. Uh, they are still doing some merging between Galileo and they have made some acquisitions. So SoFi shares are up today almost 9% at 8.25%. So that is great for SoFi, okay? So that was my uh, cash gainers today, SoFi, Tesla, Ford, and Upstart Holdings. Uh, now let's take a quick look <clears throat> at my positions. My highest position of shares that I'm still working on is SoFi. SoFi, I actually own a little over 130 shares, okay? So SoFi Technologies, one of my biggest positions that I am still down overall $600, okay? In second place, uh, my uh, next biggest position is Ford. Ford uh, up over a little over $436 overall, and I hold over 119 shares, okay? And, <clears throat> you know, 
it really doesn't matter how many shares you own, but in general, you know, you want to own at least 10 to 15 shares. Okay. So if anything is significant in your portfolio, for example, I own Tesla. Tesla I own 17 shares, and my profit has been a little over 16,000. AMD, another one of my most popular shares that I started buying literally at $50. I own a little over <clears throat> uh, 19 shares, okay? I've sold some over time. Uh, in my third place, uh, one of my uh, best stocks is Microsoft. Microsoft, I was able to pick up those shares at a little under $185, okay? So that's why I made the most money on Microsoft, okay? So the key is over time, dollar cost average, if any stock you can afford it, buy two or three shares of that stock per week or per month. And over time, you will gain as the stock goes up over time. Okay. So those are my biggest positions for uh, SoFi Technologies. SoFi Technologies, I still will be buying more in the coming weeks. SoFi Technologies, I currently own 130 shares. Okay. So anyway, that was why, you know, did so well in SoFi Technologies. Now let's take a look at possibly some opportunities today because there was quite a few stocks that were in the red. Okay, COP, Conical Phillips almost hit $100 today. It dropped 2.71%. <clears throat> Again, with the news of the war, uh, possibly ceasefire in Ukraine and, and Europe, Ukraine and Russia, uh, uh, barrels of oil dropped significantly and COP dropped 2.71%. So that could be an opportunity uh because just because the war is over they're not going to stop they're not going to start buying russian oil again okay so there's some repositioning going on uh there's even talk of brazil people buying oil or gas uh, products from brazil okay uh some other opportunities bank of america bank stocks were down today uh bank of america was still hovering about 43 dollars per share uh i I don't know what people are waiting for. I don't know why the bank has not rallied yet. Again, they report on April 18th, Bank of America shares today were down 0.06%, okay? And what else was down? CLF, Cleveland Cliffs, another steel stock was down slightly again today. Uh, again, earlier this week, uh, they were trading at about $32, $33 per share. They are down slightly. But again, I think that's still a good opportunity. We still have the Build Back Better uh, Biden plan uh, with steel being front <clears throat> and needed, okay? Uh, there still will be a steel shortage even after the war, okay? Uh, Marvel Technologies, which I think is still at a low price, trading under $90 per share, is still trading at $76. It's been creeping up the last couple uh, weeks, as you see back here in mid uh uh, March, they were trading at about $60, and today they are up at $76 per share. Okay, so those were some opportunities. Uh, Marvel Technologies, CLF, uh, and the banks, Bank of America, uh, they were still, Bank of America was slightly down again today, and COP, ConocoPhillips, uh, dropped almost under $100 per share. Okay, so those were the updates today. Again, <clears throat> some of the top stocks again was SoFi Technologies, Okta, Lucid even got in on the action. Uh, we, again, SoFi Technologies up 9.73% on the day. Uh, so it was a great day in the market. We had the Robinhood portfolio up 3.73% on the day. So I wanna thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like, share. If you'd like to get some free stock from Robinhood, please use my link below or uh, use the Weeble link to get five free shares of stock from Weeble after you deposit a dollar. Okay, so try, those, try one or two of those platforms and everybody have a fantastic evening.